Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, I am going to make some change in my previous Spring with JDBC project. So in this project, in previous tutorial, uh, we had written this configuration file and here everything uh, we had done through the configuration file. When I say everything means most of the beans we have configured explicitly. Uh, we did not uh, take the advantage of uh, a spring provider feature that is called auto wiring. So here we are going to uh, make use of uh, spring provider some annotations so that we can reduce the I mean amount of XML or we can reduce the reduce the size of the XML file. So let me explain this project. In previous video tutorial, I have created this configuration file here. Initially, we have config in this configuration file. Initially, we had configured this data source, which takes a JDBC driver, JDBC URL, username, and password. So, first bin is related to the data source. Now, second bin, this bin is created by us. So, this is basically a service class. So, we have configured in this service class service class contains an instance variable which is type of the employee dog uh, so and we have a setter method of this guy so we have configured this bin as a using property based dependency injection i mean setter based dependency injections now another class we have a doll layer so basically we are making call from service layer to doll layer and in doll layer uh, we have a JDBC template and here we have done I mean explicit wiring so in while configuring this DAW class uh, we have done here explicit uh, sorry we have done here explicit wiring explicitly we are wiring JDBC template so here uh, while configuring these two bins these two bins we can remove from the XML file and we can uh, we can make use of auto wiring now JDBC template will keep as it is because JDBC template is JDBC template class is provided by the Spring framework. So, and I again this bin, which is responsible to uh, configure our properties file. This is also I'm going to leave as it is. So first of all, I'm planning to remove this bin from XML file and will will make use of the auto wiring. So go to the this class and this is the service class this class we need to annotate with at the rate service okay. let me i'm not going to modify this project itself so better just make another copy of this project in the same work space so let's copy and give the name a spring with jdbc using annotation click on the ok so let me close this previous project and here is the other copy of previous project here uh, bin name we have given employee service go to this class and annotate this class with uh, annotation is called service service is one of the stereotype annotations so previously we had talked about the add the rate component annotations right so add the rate component annotation is also a stereotype annotations so add the rate service is also basically this is a stereotype annotations so if you have a service class in your application so that class of course you can annotate with the add the rate service now instantiation of this class would be taken care by the spring framework now here instance name we would like to give the employee service if you do not specify this name then uh, spring framework will instantiate this class with the id employee service impl but we want the object name uh, to be employee service now we can make use of here or uh, at the rate auto wire so at the rate auto wire either you can write before the properties name, properties name or before the setter based name anywhere you can specify now this 
this configuration file service is we are going to remove now here in dog class dog class i'm going to annotate with at the rate repository so this is also another kind of uh, stere stereotype annotations so i would say repository so this is a another kind of rep stereotype annotations and doll layer classes you can annotate with at the rate repository annotations now this instantiation of this class will be taken care by the spring framework container now at the rate auto wire of course we would like to do auto wire auto wire as well now in configuration file here we have configured this class as a at the rate repository and before the instance uh, before the i mean jdbc template we have written the at the rate auto wire so this bin also you can remove now rest of the things we cannot auto wire because these are the classes provided by the spring framework right so this much customization we have done now uh, there are more, little more change in configuration file so here in this configuration file so we as i told you previously uh, in spring annotations annotations are not enabled by default so we may we need to enable annotations so we have a context i am going to use context colon component scan and here we need to specify the base package so for our doll layer this is our base package this is our base package and for service layer component we have a another package so in doll layer we have used these two annotations right at the rate auto wired and at the rate repository so this, this will be automatically discovered by the spring container so that's why we have specified this package now for service layer we have a another package so this is a sorry so save it and this is a service layer package so this also you will have to register for auto discovery now almost we have done so after doing this modification let's run the client program and check it out whether it's working or not so i'm calling fetch all employees in info api and let me open the tool Tool is opening so meanwhile we can run the program cool so we got the i mean information about all employees so here we can check here we have a database is called a spring with jdbc db and we have a employee underscore table click on this tab data tab so there are three employees whose id is two three and four so same we got here so in this video tutorial i have shown you how to make use of uh, so some annotations like at the rate repository at the rate service these are the two uh, i mean stereotype annotations at the rate service usually we annotate service class method at the rate uh, repository usually doc classes uh, method you can annotate and uh, about at the rate auto wire you can uh, you can watch my previous tutorial where we are discussed in very details about at the rate auto wire annotations so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial hope you guys understood and you liked this video if you like this video then please uh, provide your valuable comments and subscribe my youtube channel so that you'll uh, get update update about my recent uploads see you in next video tutorial guys